Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial. First of all, I want to start by saying uh, I apologize for not making a tutorial recently. But now actually we're going to start on a new series. And that series will focus on building a new uh, a website, a social website. Which kind of resembles meetup.com. So if you haven't heard of meetup.com, it's simply a website where you go, create a meeting, and others can join the meeting and attend the meeting. And basically people socialize with each other. You can make business contacts, friends, and so on. So we'll be building something similar to this, obviously, but not at the extent of meetup.com, considering meetup.com is a very large website. But you guys could keep adding on to it or take a different turn and build your own thing. So this tutorial will be our first tutorial of this series. And this is will be titled Up and Running with Laravel. So we will need to install Laravel and get it up and running in this tutorial. To do that, let's go ahead and go to the laravel.com website. Go to documentation. And we can use Composer to install our Laravel project. Let's go ahead and go to getcomposer.org, which is the website for Composer. Click on the download link here. And if you're running a Windows, like I am, uh, go ahead and download the uh, Composer uh, setup that uh, the executable here and install that. If you're running a Linux, go ahead and follow the instructions here and with the Mac, same thing. Once you have installed this, we can go ahead and get started. So what I will do is I go open and I'm going to open the command prompt, navigate to where you have installed your PHP server. Uh, I'm I'm running XAMPP. You guys might be running WAMP, and if you're using Linux, also LAMP. So I'm going to go and go to the D directory or the D drive, which I where I have installed my XAMPP. As you can see here, I installed XAMPP in this directory. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to XAMPP and go to HD Docs. And I think for WAMP is the instead of HD docs is the www directory. So go ahead and go there. I'm simply going to run Composer just to see if it was installed properly. So if you do see the list here of commands available, that means that it was installed properly. If you if you don't see this and you get an error message or command not found, uh, go ahead and uh, leave a comment or so on, and I will try to help you guys figure out what was uh, what went wrong during the installation. Okay, so now that we see this that it was installed properly i'm going to go ahead and copy this um, composer command here and i want to type all that uh, simply just paste it here so actually let me go back here and copy it one more time i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste that in my and instead of blog i'm going to call this website it was the other one was called meetup but i would call it maybe like catch up or something like that and i'm going to go ahead and Hit enter. Okay, so what this will do is is going to go ahead and grab all, uh, go to the Git repo, grab all the dependencies which Laravel uh, Laravel requires. It will install everything, and uh, once it does all that, uh, then we we can actually navigate or uh, navigate to the local host, and we should be able to see our um, Laravel application up and running. Okay, so while this is going on here. Let's go ahead and uh, review some of the documentation here of Laravel. Laravel comes up, uh, comes um, packaged with Vue.js as well, uh, which is the JavaScript framework, uh, but similar to Angular, uh, Angular JS. We're actually not going to be using that uh, since it will make the tutorials a lot more sophisticated. But uh, I just wanted to put that out there, so you guys know, and you might actually be interested in that. And I'll be making uh, future tutorials on Vue.js uh, as well. So, you, and then uh, maybe you guys can uh, add features uh, uh, using Vue.js, such as uh, make uh, AJAX calls, you know, uh, kind of do more visual effects and things of that nature. So, as you can see here, uh, the um, uh, composer is, go is going and grabbing all the uh, dependencies that are required for this. Uh, Laravel project, which come with the framework for Laravel 5.5. It's installing one of those, and once it gets everything and it's up and running, we can simply go to our local host. So, before uh, this is done installing now, but so it was is completely successful. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and start my WAM server. So I'm going to start the Apache and MySQL, although we don't need MySQL for now. And simply navigate to localhost. And you can see that um, ser my local server is up and running. But as you can see here, let me clear the screen here very quickly. I'm going to type dir. So I'm going to see this new uh, directory created called ketchup. So I'm going to change directory and go there. And I'm going to list what's in there. And you can see, guys, here, all the dependencies and everything has been installed. So now, to navigate to the project and see our Laravel page, welcome page, what we are going to do is, instead of localhost, we're going to type localhost, the name of our site, slash public. And you can see here that Laravel was installed properly and it's up and running. Okay, so this was our first tutorial. Now that we have this up and running, what we will do in the next tutorial, we're actually going to go ahead and modify our local host um, host file and also some of our settings in our uh, PHP server, in my case, XAMPP, where instead of just typing this URL, localhost ketchup.public, um, and having to change uh, the URLs later on once this goes to production, what we can do is we can configure our servers so that when we type ketchup.com, it will take us to the same exact page as typing localhost slash catchup slash public. And we will focus that on the next tutorial. Again, thank you for watching this tutorial, guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And don't forget to leave um, any uh, future tutorials you guys might want to see. Again, thank you for watching and see you guys very soon for the next tutorial.